like most everyone been lazy Too bad, so sad, I have been grinding daily Put your belt on, you ain't need a safety Touchback, quarterback, hut, hut, blitz, maybe You been in the studio, I ain't heard you like So in the last video, I told you guys I was going to go into how to protect your accounts for the most part. Security isn't secure, so I'll make you as secure as you can. So Twitter jacking. The way these people go and do Twitter jacking. When we go into account jacking or Twitter jacking in general or just any account jacking, people social engineer, they brute force. There's a lot of methods people can go about this. Social engineering is a, a hot one. There's no one method to social engineering and that's why it's so powerful because there's not one way to patch. So, because you can't patch a human. You can patch or, I guess, secure, the companies can secure themselves by preventing social engineering tactics in certain ways, but sometimes it comes down to the human. The human mind is meant to feel remorse or feel bad for someone or feel some type of sympathy or whatever to get their account back. People will go in and, you know, jack your account. To make yourself secure to prevent this, there are methods that actually you can do and take in your favor thanks to these companies that prevent this to an extreme extent. Granted, there are some times where people can still get past it, but 99% of the time you're going to get them all blocked. I've never had my accounts jacked, uh, except for my PSN. I've had my PSN jacked, but I still don't know who did it or how they did it. Uh, it was one of those things that was like, damn, that's some crazy shit. It was like... I would think one of my friends would have done it because it was just so well done. It was crazy. So it, it was crazy. Like, I don't even like that password was, I don't even know. Anyway, passwords. Your passwords need to be secure. Your passwords need to be, and when I say secure, I mean alphanumeral. And by alphanumeral, I mean alphabet characters and numbers. They have to have alphabet, numbers, and special characters. Special characters consisting of like the dollar sign. I would use, utilize that for the S symbol or anything that makes a sound, you know, just to make it rememberable. If you want to make your password secure, don't use them more than once on any other account or any other website. And the reason is if that database, eh, database gets leaked or dumped, your hash, or even if it's not encrypted, the hash might be in plain text and therefore people could just, they would have your password. And if you use it on other accounts and people will just be able to log in on them. So it's very vital that you don't use the same password on any other site at all. To make this an easy task for you, there are methods that help you remember your passwords, or maybe not, I would remember them if I were you. Try to remember them as best you can, but there is applications that allow you to not have to remember them. All you have to do is remember one password, and that one password you don't want to use on anything else but your encryption key, because that is the key, is your password, and the password that you have decrypts all your other passwords so you can see. Things like this can be the plugin for, say, Chrome, or even an Android application, or any iOS app, LastPass. LastPass will encrypt a database of your passwords linked with websites, and if you go onto a web page, it will automatically input your password and username if you'd like it to. That can be dangerous if the website is, well, I guess at that point you already have inputted information for that website, but it can be dangerous if you utilize it incorrectly and your passwords will automatically be inputted and try to, you know, whatever. Best to make sure that no password is the same, that your master password for your encrypted, uh, which look into LastPass, your master password needs to be very, I would say at least 30 characters and you have to remember it and it can't be, it has to be alphanumeral, special characters, you know, be secure, but it has to, you know, write it down on a plain, like on a piece of paper and write that, write it something. You have to encrypt it and upload it to like your Google Drive, which also Google, Google is very secure. If you use Google Mail, most secure web mail you can use. Google itself, the Chrome browser, I recommend you use the Chrome browser if you don't. Chrome browser is one of the most secure browsers in the world. Chrome, anything Google pretty much. Google is pretty secure. So, Securus. So, Gmail. There are ways people can get into Gmail. Relatively easy if you don't secure it. Always, always link gmail account with your phone if you don't have a phone you can get google hangouts on your android or ios device and you get a number you go get a number for your phone and then that number is linked with your email account so you'd be able to secure your site with itself it's kind of cool so get google hangouts and get your gmail account linked with your google hangouts phone number and use that to link each other if you don't have a phone number but if you do have a phone number i highly recommend you use your cell phone number use your cell phone number link it with your gmail account and also get google authenticator google authenticator is an application for your ios or android that will allow you to it will automatically generate a random code for you to log into your gmail account if you don't have a cookie or session saved in your browser for that uh, email account this is where it can get dangerous if you don't have that phone number anymore or your your google authenticator or whatever make sure you have backup code saved up because if you don't 
it's going to make it a lot harder on you to get it back into it because when you lose your Google Authenticator or you lose your access to your phone, you can't verify. So if you can't verify, you're actually going to lose access to your account, your, your own account. But you can get it back, of course, by contacting email, uh, Gmail directly and get it back, of course, because there's methods and steps to get through that. But you got to verify yourself and that can be kind of a pain because, you know, they're trained to prevent people social engineering accounts to get them jacked and stuff. So Gmail accounts are really secure, but you got to secure them in order for them to be. Link a phone number. Also, get Google Authenticator and make it linked with uh, your email account. Google Authenticator can be used for more than just your Gmail. It can be used for Twitter. It can be used for seven sins, a modding, uh, a modding form. You know, it, it can be used for a lot of things. I would highly recommend using Gmail as your main mailing service. Yahoo, I've actually verified with anonymous online texting services to authorize my accounts so I could secure them. Well, uh, I actually don't remember the phone numbers and the phone numbers, uh, the online text receiving phone numbers got it expired so they got new ones and well i can't log in anymore let's just say that which was fine because they were throwaway accounts anyway google authenticator text messaging through your android and linking your gmail account link your gmail account with another gmail account i recommend having two gmail accounts one as your business do everything on and then one is or no one is the one that you do all your social media and stuff on second one for business that's kind of what i do one's kind of personal business the other one's kind of you know social media, all that. Link them together. You can link an email or an alternate email, in other words, with those two accounts and also have them both Google authenticated and with the same phone number. You can do that. So that's how you secure your Gmail. Now, if you have a Twitter account, make sure that Twitter email that you use on that Twitter is secure. Because if that email linked with that Twitter is not secure, people can get into it. Yeah, when you go to do a password reset on Twitter, you can see most of the email. You can see it start out and stuff, but there are methods to get that email, to get past those asterisks, to see it. That's just simple Google searching and stuff like that and social engineering method. Make sure that email that's linked with that Twitter is secure. Make I would recommend everything I just said about the Google account for your Twitter account. Now, when it comes to Twitter or any you know media service, any any online provider always when you secure your account use google authenticator if it's available and link with your phone not only that like i said again your email needs to be secure so google authenticator and sms once you've verified your twitter is now almost unjackable to no, it's like little to none that anybody would be able to get into it because what you have just done is you've made it mandatory in order for you to log in and there's actually on twitter you actually have to ask to verify on twitter if you go to security well if you go to um settings and you go to security and privacy you can now uh, verify login requests and what this will do after you log in twitter will send a push notification to the twitter app that you'll need to approve access to the account so like on my android so if we look at my account, my Twitter account right here, which you guys should be following a brother on Twitter. I mean, you're watching a anti-Twitter jack and dude, hold up. I'm going to hold this video until you guys go follow me on Twitter. I wait, think I'm playing. Uh, yeah, you might as well just skip, you know, might as well just skip forward, do whatever, you know, cheat past this part. Don't follow me on Twitter.